Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Blockbuster Trade Proposal Sends Heat Star Jimmy Butler to Lakers one NBA writer proposed that the Los Angeles Lakers acquire Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat this offseason. Zach Buckley of Bleacher Report proposed the following trade idea between the Lakers and Heat, the trade, the Los Angeles Lakers trade Austin Reeves, Rue Hakimura, Jared Vanderbilt, Jalen hood 2029 first-round pick and 2031 first-round pick to the Miami Heat for Jimmy Butler and Thomas Bryant. Butler averaged 20.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 5.0 assists in 60 games for the Heat this season, while shooting 49.9% from the field, 41.4% from beyond the arc and 85.8% from the free-throw line. He'll make $48.8 million next season. One of the top players in the NBA, Butler is extension-eligible this offseason. The forward could request a trade if the Heat don't sign him to a max extension. The Lakers' third star search could take them a number of different directions, but what about towards South Beach and their biggest adversary in the 2020 Finals? Sure, the Heat say Butler isn't available, and most analysts don't think he is, but if extension negotiations get awkward, as they already kind of did, things could change in a hurry, Buckley wrote. L.A. should have an all-in offer at the ready just in case. Butler wouldn't help with the Lakers' shooting shortage, but he'd enhance their offensive menu as a scorer, creator, and downhill attacker. His toughness and defensive versatility would be welcome additions to this team, and his experience should allow for a smooth transition to the locker room. This trade price is steep, but this could be a transformational swap, so it should be. If L.A. wants more than an honorable mention in championship talks, it might require a bold blockbuster like this to make it happen. To get this deal done, the Lakers would have to duck below the first apron, which could happen by either D'Angelo Russell declining his $18.7 million player option and exiting or LeBron James returning at something less than his max salary. Butler has a player option worth $52.4 million for the 2025-26 season. He turns 35 in September. A Marquette product, Butler has career averages of 18.3 points, 5.3 rebounds, 4.3 assists, 1.6 steals and 0.4 blocks with the Chicago Bulls, Minnesota Timberwolves, Philadelphia Sixers and Heat. He's made six all-star teams, five all-NBA teams, and five all-defensive teams. The Lakers are expected to hire J.J. Redick as their new head coach. Redick and Butler were teammates on the Sixers in 2018-19. Los Angeles would have a big three of LeBron, Butler, and Anthony Davis if the Lakers' front office figured out a way to acquire Butler from the Heat. LeBron can become an unrestricted free agent this offseason by declining his 2024-25 player option. The NBA legend is expected to remain with the Lakers. NBA insider Pretty Positive J.J. Redick will be the Lakers' next head coach. J.J. Redick remains the favorite to become the next Los Angeles Lakers head coach. His competition for the role weakened on Wednesday as Ty Lue agreed to a multi-year extension with the LA Clippers. According to Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports, who was speaking on a recent episode of The Dan Patrick Show, he's pretty positive Redick will become the Lakers' next head coach. I will be very surprised if their next head coach is anybody but J.J. Redick, Haynes said. Everything I'm hearing is J.J. Redick. From what I know he's doing some background, calling some assistant coaching candidates who might be able to join his staff or might not be able to join his staff. I'm pretty positive it will be J.J., we've seen coaches getting those types of opportunities. Steve Nash got a great opportunity as his first coaching gig. Jason Kidd did the same thing, Derek Fisher, it's a tough job to take. Sam Castle and James Borrego have both been floated as potential candidates for the Lakers' head coaching role. Redick is reportedly interested in adding both of them to his assistant coaching staff should he be hired to replace Darvin Ham. Jared Dudley could also make the move to the Lakers' bench to help shore up Redick's staff. 
regardless of who Reddick selects for his coaching staff, if he gets the Lakers' job, he will face a mountain of pressure. Not only will he be the most inexperienced coach in the NBA, but he will also be leading a team with the expectation of competing for a championship. Reddick will know what he's signing up for. It won't be lost on him how Los Angeles's roster is disjointed. Nor will it be lost on him that there has been an air of dysfunction surrounding the locker room in recent years. Still, if the chance to coach the purple and gold comes along, you must take it, even if it comes with a risk to your reputation and future chances of employment within the league. Proposed blockbuster trade has Lakers land $146 million superstar for Reeves. The Los Angeles Lakers are in search of a third star, and the franchise will need to explore potential blockbuster trades for the team to have a chance. Bleacher reports Zach Buckley proposed an all-in trade pitch for the Lakers to land Miami Heat superstar Jimmy Butler. The proposal has the Lakers sending Austin Reeves, Rue Hakimura, Jared Vanderbilt, Jalen hood Shafino, and two future first-rounders, 2029-2031, to Miami. Los Angeles lands Butler and Thomas Bryant from the Heat in the trade proposal. The Lakers' third star search could take them a number of different directions, but what about towards South Beach and their biggest adversary in the 2020 Finals? Buckley detailed in a May 29, 2024 article titled, One New Trade Idea for Every NBA Team. Sure, the Heat say Butler isn't available, and most analysts don't think he is, but if extension negotiations get awkward, as they already kind of did, things could change in a hurry. L.A. should have an all-in offer at the ready just in case. Butler wouldn't help with the Lakers' shooting shortage, but he'd enhance their offensive menu as a scorer, creator, and downhill attacker. To get this deal done, the Lakers would have to duck below the first apron, which could happen by either D'Angelo Russell declining his $18.7 million player option and exiting or LeBron James returning at something less than his max salary. Bleacher Report is labeling this as an all-in deal for the Lakers, but this is unlikely to have much appeal to the Heat. For Miami to move on from Butler, the Heat would likely need another star in return or a plethora of draft picks. Butler still has two seasons remaining on a three-year, $146 million contract. The star has a $48.7 million cap hit in 2024-25. Butler does have a player option for 2025-26, meaning the star could be a free agent in 2025. The argument for trading Butler would be Miami getting something in return for the forward if the team thought the six-time All-Star does not want to remain with the Heat. Miami has attempted to downplay the idea of trading Butler this summer, but Heat President Pat Riley did not sound ready to sign the veteran to a new deal. The Athletics' Shams Tarania reported that Butler would like to remain with Heat. Jimmy Butler has always made it clear he wants to be in Miami long term, it's going to be about will they be able to pay him what he wants, Tarania noted in a May 7 episode of Run It Back. Forming a new big three with Butler, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis would make the Lakers must-see television. Add in the idea of the Lakers landing James' son Bronny James in the 2024 NBA draft, and the Lakers would have a highly entertaining offseason. It may provide the NBA world with countless hours of content, but this deal likely has little appeal for the Heat. Even if Butler reveals that he does not want to re-sign with Miami, the Heat can likely land a better player than Reeves. That said, it will be worth monitoring whether the Lakers attempt to get involved if Butler suddenly becomes available. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jimmy Butler? Leave your opinion in the comments.